Butchake English for Teens. Welcome to Butchake English for Teens. I'm Josh Barnum. And I'm Alex Schroer. Let's get started by watching today's skit. Stop! I need more energy. The championship is only two weeks away. Good! That was better. Now again from the top. Ugh. She's pushing us way too hard. Yeah, it's not like we can win anyway. Wow, that must have been quite a shock for Emma. Yeah, I wonder what she'll do now. It sounds like morale is at an all-time low. I don't know, but she better do something or the team might go on strike. Yikes. Speaking of the team's complaints, did you catch what the second cheerleader said about their chances at the championship? Yeah, she said, it's not like we can win, right? That's right. Let's take a closer look at the expression, it's not like. This is an expression we often use when we think someone misunderstands the situation. According to the cheerleader, Emma mistakenly believes that they can win. She wants to say that this is not true, so she said, it's not like we can win. Let's imagine a few other situations where we might use this expression to prevent potential misunderstanding. If you have a big bowl of ice cream to celebrate passing an exam, and your friend warns you that you will get fat, you might say... It's not like I have ice cream every day. Or if your co-host is surprised that you went to an Anpanman show last weekend, you might say... It's not like I made those plans. It was my cousin's birthday. Was it really, Josh? No. Our doshi no tetsujin point for today is about the word push. In addition to physically pushing something, this verb can also mean pressure someone to do something. In this week's issue, the cheerleader said she's pushing us way too hard, meaning that Emma was pressuring them to practice. The full sentence would be something like, she's pushing us to practice way too hard. But here the topic was obvious, so to practice was omitted. Here the expression was used with a negative nuance. That's why push was accompanied by too hard. But the expression can be used positively too. We often need motivation in life, so some pushing is helpful. For example, my parents always push me to do my best. Compared to, my parents pushed me too hard in high school. Sorry to hear that. You can also push yourself to do something. This means that you are trying hard and pushing your limits. For example, I push myself to be the greatest last legacy gamer the world has ever known. That's odd. I don't think the world knows any last legacy gamers. Oh, but they will. They will. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. See you next week. Butchake English for Teens!